Most surveillance systems suck. We spent over a thousand dollars on ours for the F-Stopper's office and it is an absolute nightmare to use. Why are there these check boxes down here and it won't let me click them? I think I've set it now to only show me areas of motion and it's showing me all day yesterday for 24 hours and there's no areas of motion and we have eight cameras. Watch when I try to drag this around, I'm clicking and dragging and nothing happens. So down here there's buttons for 24 hours, two hours, one hour and I would imagine that would zoom into the timeline. You click on them and nothing happens. Why do they even put this stuff in here and it doesn't do anything? Now, I wish I could tell you that I found the ultimate surveillance system that was cheap, it was easy to use, it was plug and play right out of the box, but sadly, I don't think that product exists yet. But I think I found the next best thing. Today, we're going to turn our Synology NAS device into a surveillance recorder. Now we have a few different NAS devices here in the office that we work off of on a daily basis and I could just use one of those to record security footage but I didn't want to risk potentially slowing down our workflow. So what I did was I grabbed an older unit that we don't use anymore. This is the DS214, it's a two bay NAS device and if you're looking to buy one of these new you can spend right around $150. Now for cameras I went on Amazon and I bought two Foscam RE2 IP cameras. Now I bought these two cameras because they are movable, I'll actually be able to control them over the internet and I got them because you're going to be able to plug them in with ethernet or use them wirelessly over Wi-Fi. First, I connected to the Synology through our network and went to Package Center, All Packages, and then installed the Surveillance Station app. This software is free to use for one or two cameras. While that was installing, I plugged in one of the Foscam cameras and connected it with Ethernet to our network. If you don't have a switch like us, just plug it directly into the back of your wireless router. I then downloaded the Foscam app on my cell phone and I clicked add new camera. This will bring up the camera on the app and you'll be able to use that to scan the QR code on the bottom of the surveillance camera. At this point, I created a username and password for the surveillance camera. Once you connect to the camera, click on the cog in the upper right hand corner and then network. From there, you can tell it which Wi-Fi network to connect to and then you'll be able to unplug it from ethernet if you want to. At this point, you can put the camera anywhere and it will automatically connect to your local network via Wi-Fi. Do these same steps again for camera number two. Now back on the computer, I opened up the surveillance station app and clicked on IP camera. And then I clicked on add a camera and quick setup. Click on this magnifying glass to search the network for the cameras. My cameras didn't show up under Synology's supported cameras, but they did under general interface. Choose one and click OK. Now all you have to do is add the username and password that you created on the Foscam app and click finish. Do this again with the second camera and you're all set. Now there's a million ways that you can customize this system and there's tons of YouTube videos out there if you wanna go deeper into this. But for me, everything just worked at this point. At this point, you can click on live view to see what's happening live and to control each camera, you can click on these arrows. By clicking on timeline, I could scroll back and see every single thing that was happening over time. If there was movement, I could see that by these little blue lines here. If you wanna download a still image or a video clip, simply hover over the video and click the download button. If you click on the recording app, you're going to be able to see a list of every area of movement and it will automatically record those moments for you to easily be able to have access to. Now, at this point, this is probably sounding too good to be true, a security system that is actually somewhat easy to use and relatively affordable, but here is the catch. If you wanna use more than two cameras, you're going to have to purchase a license code for more cameras, and they are sold in packs of four. Now, you'd think you'd be able to buy that license online like every other piece of software out there, but that's not how it works for some reason. You're gonna to have to go to a B&H or an Amazon and pay money and have them ship you a sheet of paper that has a code on it. I have no idea why they do this. This is the exact same thing that Panasonic does with the GH5. But if you need more cameras, that's the only option at this point. If you want four cameras, it's going to cost you 200 bucks. And if you want eight cameras, it's currently costing $370. So it's not cheap. But if you want a somewhat easy to use surveillance system and you want the redundancy of at least two hard drives, if not more, 
this may be your best bet. So I don't think this is the ultimate solution. I feel like there's a big hole in this surveillance market still for somebody to come out, create a system that's easy to use, relatively affordable, and doesn't cost some sort of monthly fee. But if you're like me and you need a surveillance system today, for either your house or your office, definitely keep a Synology NAS device open as an option. For more information just like this, head over to fstoppers.com for daily free content. And if you'd like to check out our full length photography tutorials, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. <laughs>